Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for November 1st through November 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, and this has been my full-time work for over two and a half years now. So the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Uh, again, the link is below and all the information is there. Let's see, we're gonna be, uh, Mercury's moving direct in the first few days. We've got the US elections. I know energy is, is just really heightened right now. So hopefully you're staying grounded, you're staying centered, you're taking you know rest as needed. And I'm just sending you all my love. So that's it, we're gonna get straight into the readings. Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for November 1st through the 15th, 2020. It's already fully shuffled, so let's just get into it. Wow, okay, Leo. First up, we've got you, King of Wands here. So this is you, your energy definitely, and I gotta read it with these other two cards because the way that you are facing, my dear Leo, we've got your back turned towards the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So there is definitely something going on around you that you either don't wanna deal with, don't wanna face it, don't wanna talk about it, um, uh, maybe you don't have time to deal with it right now. I just, your energy is very focused away from whatever this is. So the Seven of Swords and Eight of Swords can also be representing a person that is around you, either in work or in family, in a relationship. There's just, I'm feeling a little bit of like sneaky energy or avoidance, leaving information out, details out. Somebody is playing the victim here and not taking responsibility for things. Again, I'm feeling like that's somebody that you are dealing with, but you, you're, you're in a place where you can't put energy and focus into this for whatever reason. You've turned your back on it or you've turned your back on them because you're distracted or you're, you have other things going on that need your attention right now. Let me see what else I've got here. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius with all the sword energy. Yes, okay, so you're gonna be looking at your options. You're keeping your options open. I feel like maybe you're aware of some of the sneakiness or this dishonesty that's around you and maybe you just don't even want to engage in it. It's not even worth it to you to bring it up, to try to talk about it because you've just accepted it. So I feel like you're doing a good job of keeping your energy within you and keeping, your, keeping focused on positivity. Um, because I feel with the Three of Wands here, you're looking at options. You're keeping your options open. You have options and you're looking at what action steps you can take in order to move away from this situation. And you're being patient with it. I do feel this may take a little time. You've planted the seeds, you've done the work, um, but I've, I've got that out here with the chariot. So I do feel things are gonna move forward for you. In regards to whatever the seven and eight of swords are, again, just sneaky, a little bit of sneaky energy here, but it's gonna move forward and I feel the clarity is gonna come in for you as long as you don't uh, don't get enrolled into it. Leo, that's a big message for you, very loud and clear. Do not get enrolled into this person, into their drama, into whatever is going on there. Hold yourself higher because I see you moving forward with confidence and direction and clarity. And you do have options and I think you know that, which is a really positive thing. Knowing that you have options can help you to not, and then here's the sun card, another Leo card. 
Yeah, you're you're leaving negativity behind, Leo. You don't have time for the drama. You don't want it. You're over it. You're over what it does to you, right? You don't want this, and you don't want someone around you who has this. So now we have the seven, eight, and the nine of swords. You're getting the, okay. <laughs> the messages are coming through so fast, I can't talk fast enough. You're getting the clarity that this person is drama. That's who they are. So it's not one thing. It's not just one thing. It's going to be one thing and then another thing and then another thing and then another thing. And it's just always going to take your energy. And I think you are wise enough to know and to feel that. So you're shifting out of that. You don't want to be around a person like that. You are looking for stability. You're looking for a much more solid, stable, and reliable energy as you are. So Queen of Pentacles here, I almost feel as soon as you cut that energy out or you really allow it to just kind of disappear or fizzle out, I feel that's when this person is going to come in for you, someone solid and stable and who is ready for commitment. So whoever you've been dealing with that is representing this seven, eight, and nine of swords, again, it could be an air sign or just somebody with really strong uh, mental energy and mind energy, but I feel they like drama and you don't. So it's just not a match. And I think you're aware of that because you've already turned your back on it, but it's still kind of lingering, still kind of lingering. Um, but again, you're, you're going to get the clarity. You're going to move forward. You have options, Leo. I think you're in a really good position. So just know that you don't need to take on this person's negativity or their drama or whatever that is. I also feel you're going to know exactly who and what I'm talking about because the energy is like very precise, very clear here. All right. You've got nature. Nature could not be further opposite from drama. So the nature, being out in your own space, your own energy, and in nature is really going to help balance and clear you and help to uh, shift yourself away from any negative energy. Okay, so keep that in mind. You may need to go for a little walk or to just go sit in the grass or just go have some quiet time and focus on the positive things in your life. Letting go of drama. Let me get you a spirit animal message. Oh, I love it. We've got ladybug. Good luck. You are a bright energy. Exactly what I'm saying here. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with color and good luck. I mean, that, that should just be the Leo card. I feel like that is so you guys. You are bright energy and you do bring positivity and joy. So anything heavier or below that, that's what you're shifting out of. So that's a really beautiful message. Ladybug, good luck. I hope that resonates with you. If not, no worry. Okay, wait, so real fast again, we've got Leo out here, very strong air energy, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius. I've also got earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And we're building to the super new moon in Scorpio, which will be on the 15th. So that will help kind of clear this out so you can start on a fresh chapter, which I think is really positive. So. Hopefully this resonates. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter, uh, any placement of Leo, really. And thank you for your comments below the video. If you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all over the world. This is my full-time work for over two and a half years now. So the link uh, below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, my story in getting here. Definitely check out the testimonials page and you'll also see I have a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can take advantage of that. I do hope that is helpful for you in some way. 
And I think that's it, Leo. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to November. Hang in there. You are on the right track and moving towards sunshine. So I'll see you back here for the second half of November readings. Take care.